Hey guys, welcome back. I'm wishing y'all a happy 4th of July weekend today. Uh, I know a lot of y'all is going to be having an extended weekend, so enjoy y'all selves. Have fun. Be safe no matter what y'all do. So today's food review, I had to come out here to Hardee's because I had to get this baby back rib thick burger. Because it, it brings two of those important things that has to do with barbecue in 4th of July. We got burgers and we got barbecue. And to top that, we got Big Red. So that's three three things right there all summer. Uh, this will be my first time trying the Baby Back Burger. Uh, I got the uh, the quarter pound one. I know you can get a one third pound one. And uh, this burger, it's just your basic thick burger. But it's topped with, I think, like two or three boneless Baby Back ribs covered in Cattleman's Barbecue Sauce. And it's also got um, crispy crispy fried onions and pickles. I got it with no pickles because I don't like pickles. So um, let's get in this and try this thing out today. See how it, that tastes. Oh, it, well, I asked for no pickles, but they put pickles on it. That's okay. Ooh. That's good barbecue sauce, too. It's... It's like a thin barbecue. Let's take this out. Probably gonna have to leave this in this little wrapper because we're otherwise I'm gonna end up wearing this. Ooh, that's a look at that. That's a thick cut. Oh, and I'm losing onions. That is a thick barbecue rib in there. I was gonna take that rib out and show y'all, but that that little sucker's hot. So we'll just leave him in there. We're making a mess everywhere, guys. So before anything gets any worse, we're gonna take a bite into this. Try to get everything in one bite. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that rib is tender. It's not tough, not chewy. That's why I'd be afraid, of, since it's being fast food, be afraid that rib might be like on a tough side or all cartilage or something, but that's all meat. That's juicy right there. It's hot though. That's a hot real rib. Let me get a drink right here, guys. But yeah, that bun that bun is nice and toasted. That's holding up that barbecue sauce. It's not shriveled or it's not soggy. It's still got some hold to it, even with sauce um, dripping down on the back on the bottom. Nice thick perk, nice thick burger. Ooh, they they top these things with pickles. I don't know whether they thought I meant extra pickles. I said no pickles. They topped it with pickles. Mm. That barbecue sauce is sweet too. I'm more like I like more of a tangy, like a tangy, spicy little barbecue, a little thicker. More of a, I guess, a Memphis style or a Texas style. This is more thinner. This is more of a, I guess, a Carolina style probably. Maybe a St. Louis style, but yeah, it's it's good. It's and this covered in barbecue sauce. That's maybe they need. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they need to cut back a little on the barbecue sauce so I can get more of the uh, taste in the the meats of the burger and the rib. But that's not bad. Let me see if I can get that rib out. Ooh, he's hot. There's like a little piece of that rib meat. I'm burning my hand holding you, showing you all that. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that's all what. That's all meat. Tender. Get a little bit of smoke flavor to it. But that's not no grizzle, no fat. That's just all white meat. Let's get. Let me try a little more of this burger. I always loved Hardee's burgers. Ever since they started doing these thick burgers, I've loved these. They're a little more on the expensive side, so it's not like a burger you can get every day. But if you can afford them every now and then, these hearty thick burgers are delicious. They're not dry, they're juicy, you taste all meat in them. I'm really liking those fried onions on it. They're not overpowering. It's like a raw onion. I don't like raw onions. Got a good little crisp to them. They're holding up in that barbecue sauce too, even absorbing all that all that barbecue. But they're holding up. Oof. This ain't even the big burger, but this one's starting to get filling, guys. Yep, says on the bag, Pioneers of the Great American Burger. And I honestly believe that is a pretty good burger. That is a tasty burger, guys. Uh, I know it's been out for a while. This is my first time getting it. I'm hoping they kind of keep it on the menu for a while. kind of wish they had that uh, all-American burger, or most American burger that they had last year where it had the hot dog and potato chips on it. I think that would have been a good little burger to have today being on the 4th of July weekend. But this is just as good. Like I said... You got burgers, you got barbecue, I got Big Red. What else could you want for a nice summer day, especially on 4th of July? Well, I hope y'all enjoyed y'allself this today watching this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Now, guys, there won't be no videos next week because, as you know, next week I'll be out to Disney World. But I'll trust me, when I come back, we're going to have all kinds of videos. I'm going to be showing y'all. A uh, good about good amount of vlogging that I went went on down there. Uh, some vid some one-on-one uh, -on -one videos and on the rides and stuff. I haven't really decided how I'm gonna present this whole thing yet, but I'll be thinking about ways. So I will really like y'all to check those out when I come back. We'll have more food reviews. We'll have more unboxings. So before I go, enjoy yourselves Fourth of July weekend. Have fun. Be safe. Enjoy lots of good barbecue food because you know I will be. And I will see all y'all guys next time.